hello everyone let's have a look at this dlr set let's take the screenshot of this data and total there are four questions are there try this set by yourself then come back to this video now let's start doing this question during a particular year 300 people were kept under observation and each one of them had at least one of the habits among a b c d and e any person who had habit a also had habit c while any person who is having habit d also having habit e any person who had habit d also had habit a while no person who had habit e had habit a so it looks a bit complex but after reading this we come to know that this is venn diagram question so what we will do is before we move ahead let's draw the venn diagram total five habits are there total five circles we require let's do this so what i will do i what i will do as of now i will delete these statements okay let's draw a venn diagram over here look here this statement says that any person who had habit a had habit c also okay so this is a circle represent habit a this is a circle which represent habit c let's read this statement again any person who had habit a also had habit c okay while any person who is having habit d also having habit e so now we don't know d and e how they are interrelated with a and c so let's keep this statement on hold any person who had habit d also had habit a so from this what we come to know let's have a look at it let's read this statement again any person who had habit b also had habit a means in a circle of a in a circle of a there is another circle this circle represent the number of people having habit b okay everyone while no person who had habit e had a habit a there is no any intersection between habit e and habit a there is no person who is having habit e had habit a so the circle of habit e is going to be over here let me draw the circle circle of habit e is going to be here everyone okay so one second hold on let me put it like this okay and the one habit is remaining that is habit d here the statement while any person who is having habit d also having habit e what does it mean all the people having habit d are also having habit e so the circle of habit d will come like this this is the circle of habit d everyone okay because all the people who are having habit d also having habit e so this is the venn diagram okay everyone so now we don't need this paragraph what we know total how many people are there total 300 people are there now this paragraph is not required so what i will do is i will delete this if required we can go back and we can read this again now let's concentrate on those statements the additional facts these are the additional statements okay everyone let's read first statement the number of people who had habit b was twice the number of people who had only habit e so over here what we will do is let me put the variables okay let's say this is x x number of people are here y number of people are here p number of people are here okay then q number of people are here r number of people are here then k number of people are here okay and let's take m number of people are here now how to read this let's have a look at it everyone how to read this let's have a look at it x represent what 
x represent the number of people having only habit c y represent the number of people having habit a and c p represent the number of people having habit hold on p represent the number of people having habit a also b also and c also k represent the number of people having habit e and c for q represent what habit d habit e habit c r represent the number of people having habit d and e whereas m represent the number of people having habit only e okay everyone so now after this what we will do is let's read these statements everyone the first statement first statement says that the number of people who had habit b how many people are having habit b everyone from the first statement we can conclude that the number of people having habit b is p which is equal to twice of only habit e only habit e is m so p is equal to 2 times m everyone second statement second statement says that the number of persons who had only habit c only c is x which is equal to 20 less than the number of people who had exactly one habit exactly one habit is x plus m everyone so x is equal to x plus m minus 20 So after solving this, what we come to know, everyone? After solving this, we come to know that m is equal to twenty. So p is equal to forty. Okay. Now let's read statement number three, everyone. Statement number three says that the number of the number of persons who had habit D. How many people are having habit D? Q plus R. is equal to 3 more than the number of people having habit a habit a means y plus p okay after this statement number 4 statement number 4 says that the number of people who had at least 3 habits is 145 at least 3 means what p and q okay so p plus q is equal to how much 145 everyone statement number 5 statement number 5 says that the number of persons who had habit a habit a means y plus p which is equal to 90 more than the number of people who only had habit a only had habit a means m okay everyone so from this we can get the value of y let's get the value of y everyone So y is equal to ninety minus m minus p. Ninety minus ninety plus m minus p. So the value of y is going to be how much, everyone? One hundred and ten minus forty. One hundred and ten minus forty is equal to how much? Seventy. Hold on. Now let's read statement number six. statement number 6 says that number of people who had habit c that is x plus y plus p plus k plus q which is equal to 100 more than the number of people who had habit e habit e means k plus q plus r plus m okay so over here we done with all the six statements so what i will do is i will delete these statements so that we can have some space for calculation now look here so over here k plus q k plus q will get cancelled out we know the value of x plus y plus p we know the value of y as 70 okay p as 40 so x plus 70 plus 40 is equal to 100 plus the value of r we don't know the value of m is 20 okay so from this what we come to know that this is 110 this is 120 so x is equal to r plus 10 okay everyone now over here we know p is equal to 40 so the value of q becomes how much 145 minus 
40 that is equal to 105 okay everyone now so after this what we can do is equation number 3 equation number 3 we know q okay let's use equation number 3 everyone as per equation number 3 q plus r plus q plus r is equal to 3 plus y plus p the value of q is 105 the value of r we don't know 3 plus the value of y is 70 and the value of p is 40 so the value of r is going to be how much 110 120 113 minus 105 the value of r is going to be 8 everyone and the value of x is going to be how much 18 so likewise we can get the value of all the variables so till now we got m is equal to 20 p is equal to 40 q is equal to 105 r is equal to 8 x is equal to 18 y is equal to 70 one variable remaining one variable is remaining which one we're done with x y p q r m and k is remaining okay this total sum is going to be how much total sum is going to be 300 everyone so the value of k is going to be how much look here 300 minus sum of all these terms okay everyone so if you calculate sum of all these terms this sum is going to be 261 so 300 minus 261 is going to be 39 so the value of k is going to be 39 so now let's go to the slide of questions everyone hold on let's have a look at the questions now these are the questions just one second hold on okay so the first question says that how many people are having exactly one habit how many people are having exactly one habit along with this what i will do is i will copy this part also okay so question number one how many people are having exactly one habit the answer is going to be x plus m the value of x is 18 the value of m is 20 that is equal to 38 is the answer of question number one question number two how many people had habit c and exactly one other habit habit c and exactly one other habit the answer is going to be y plus k that is equal to the value of y is 70 the value of k is 39 the answer is going to be 109 question number three how many person who had habit c sorry among the persons who had habit c how many persons had habit e so our answer is going to be k plus q the value of k is 39 the value of q is 105 so this addition is 144 question number four how many people had both habit d and habit a so you can see that there are zero people who are having habit d and habit a so this is how we can solve this set everyone 